Hey everyone, I'm Rob from Staking Facilities and in this video I would like to run you through the process of delegating your thesis using a test box desktop wallet. Um, before we get started, a few side notes. Um, in order for you to successfully do so, you need the Tezos wallet installed, uh, app installed on your ledger. Um, obviously you need a ledger. I have a Ledger Nano S right here and then you're all set to go. And first things first, you go to testbox.com. You find a bunch of options here. Choose the one that's um, for your operating system. Go with this one. You're gonna get directed to a GitHub page. There you have to scroll to the very bottom and click this download link here. Once you've downloaded everything and set it up, you can open the app and then you find a screen like that. Since we are using a ledger, um, we are going to click this button, use ledger and treasure. Okay, then you're gonna get a fair warning that you, like I mentioned, need the Tezos wallet app installed in your ledger. Make sure you have done so. You can leave the HD derivation path as it is and just click connect account. Sometimes um, this takes a while before your ledger um, gets properly connected. Um, just You can just hit cancel if you don't get a prompt on your ledger. Um, as soon as you does, I ask you to, to sign it and then you actually sign that you provide your public key to Tezbox. This looks something like that. And then click check mark. And then you say, see a confirmation. Awesome, we have retrieved the following address from your hardware wallet, TC1 and so forth. This is going to be the address we are working with for this video. So hit the continue. Then you can declare a password, any kind you want. There are some specifications um, by test box. For instance, it has to include an upper and a lowercase um, character. I advise you to choose a fairly strong password. As soon as you've done that, click encrypt test box. This might take a while. Okay, here we are. So this is the main test box screen. You can see your addresses and your contracts. Um, you have the chance to, or you have the option to give it a, any name you want. So let's do that. I, I like that better than manager one. Therefore you go, just go to options. And then here in the title section, you can give it any title you want. I'm just gonna go with Rob's main address. Hit update title. You're all set. Let's go back to transactions. And now you see that the um, funds, that, that the account is not funded, so you can't really delegate if you don't have anything to delegate. Um, your funds, your tesis are most likely still on an exchange. Um, doesn't really matter where you bought them. Um, the most important thing is that you need to send them from your exchange to your tesis um, wallet, and you therefore you just need to copy this address. This is your account address. Just click, hit this icon and it will copy it directly to your clipboard, go to your exchange, and then send the funds over there. Um, in my case, I'm, I'm using Kraken, I'm not gonna run you through the whole process. This process is pretty straightforward and pretty much the same for any kind of exchange you're using. And I'll see you back when we have the account properly funded. Okay, now you see that the funds have arrived. Sometimes this takes up to a few minutes, but worry not. Um, once they're here, it's a quick process, um, not much left to go. So, in order to delegate to us, which we would be more than happy if you would decide to do so, you can go over to delegate, and there you see a few options that you have. It just warns you here that the, none of these um, validators that you find here, um, that you also always have to do your own proper research about them, which we also highly advise you to do so. And if you want to delegate to our, Baker, hit custom over here, and you see another um, tab opening up. And you go back to the Stake and Facilities website, stakeandfacilities.com. Then go to Stake Now. You can also go directly to stakeandfacilities.com slash Tezos, and you find our validator Baker address up here. You can copy it directly to your clipboard by clicking this button. So it's copied. Go back to Desbox. Paste the address in here. Um, you can leave the fees at low, that doesn't really matter at this point. And then you just hit 
update delegate and now it asks you on your letter to confer, confirm the transaction even tells you on here that it is a delegation transaction and not a send transaction so we're gonna confirm always check what you sign on your letter so what I like to do is I like to look at um, the first few um, digits of an address and the last few and then just double check it here and then sign it and once you sign it you get a prompt that it worked out and continue and now you've delegated your full 4.8 thesis in my case in your case it's the amount that you um, funded your account with um, to our baker um, you can always also check everything by clicking this button up here view on test get stats sorry and then you can see whom you're delegating to how much you're delegating to and your address over here you see some current cycle um, and once you've received some rewards they will show up down here um, please note that if this is your first delegation um, it will take um, 36 days so 12 cycles before you will receive your first rewards after that you will receive rewards every cycle which means you will reserve uh, re receive rewards every three days um, so far so good that's um, it from my side thank you for watching the video thank you for choosing us as your um, validator if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below or reach out to us via any of our contact um, information that you can find also down below but also on our website